In this interview series from the CQF Institute, we ask leading quants to reflect on their careers, the skills needed for quantitative finance, and to offer their views on the latest industry developments. What do you think are the most important future skills aspiring quants should acquire? Important future skills aspiring quants should acquire, in addition to having a solid background in math and numerical skills, I think are the following. So communication skills, critical thinking, and being able to execute change and projects. And what I mean with that is, first of all, communication skills. I think it's very important that you can explain very complex concepts in very plain language, that you're able to articulate why something is so key to someone who not necessarily might have very quantitative background, and also how you engage with stakeholders who might have different incentives um, uh, in that discussion. The second one I mentioned is critical thinking. So critical thinking, I think it's very important to be aware of when something breaks down. Uh, so what are the assumptions in there? But also a little bit more personal on what would change your mind, uh, which facts would change your mind on something. And finally, is being able to execute a change or manage projects. I think it's a crucial skill that you're able to be aware of what information you need, but also when do you make a decision and how do you take down bottlenecks. I think if you have the combination of those three skill sets, that will probably make you a very successful quant in your career. If you could go back in time, what advice would you give yourself when you first started your career as a quant? If I could go back in time, what advice would I give to myself? I would probably remind myself on the importance of leading, um, leading by example and having your actions and behavior consistent with the words you say. I think it's sometimes a little bit underappreciated the importance of how we respond to questions, suggestions, ideas to do something differently, but also more serious how you manage escalations. That by doing that and how you act in meetings, you change a lot of uh, people uh, next to you along the way. And once you do that consciously, I think that's extremely powerful. How did you begin your career in quant finance? I started my career as a portfolio manager in asset allocation and very quickly realized I had to get the grip with numbers, especially with risk and strategic asset allocation modeling. And over time, my interest in derivative pricing has, uh, has grown. Uh, it's interesting to note that especially with derivative pricing, most models uh, and, and, and most um, quant finance techniques do a very good job. They're very accurate, but particular in the macro world or economic models, are often very crude simplifications of reality. And that interplay between different types of models and being critical to think of what to look for in the model and how to interpret a model is something that keeps me very interested. <laughs> <laughs>